Let's create another dynamic dashboard. In this example, we're going to leverage a dashlet configuration where the dashlet source can be taken from other dashlets. The default setting for a dashlet source is to use the dashboard context as you see here. CA01 is the current dashboard context and each dashlet uses that context as its source. You can also set the dashlet source to a fixed object like we've shown in other examples. But what I'm going to show you is how to create a dashboard where the dashlet source comes from a selection in another dashlet. There's a good example in the system already that we can start with. Let's go to the QoS dashboard for CA01 and take a look. With the exception of the policy maps, all of the dashlets are empty. If I select the policy map, I can now see the associated class maps. Now remember, don't select the blue hyperlink, just select the line. If I take it a step further, I can select a class map and show all of the performance metrics for that class. This is a good example that's already in your system, and you can use it as a base to create your own dashboard. Let's look at another example that I've created and show you how to configure this type of dashboard. At the view level, I've created a dashboard that lets me select two devices in the view and compare performance metrics for each one. These device dashlets take their source from the view in the dashboard context, and the remaining dashlets are taking their source from the two device dashlets. Let's look at the definition for this dashboard. I'm using a variety of dashlet types. I've added a text dashlet here with some instructions on how to actually use this dashboard that users can use. I've also added two tables that are used to list the devices in each view, and these will be the source for the remaining dashlets. In the configuration for the first device table, you can see that the dashlet source is the dashboard. Now this is important because I want to list all the devices in a view where the view is the context of my dashboard. I've made sure that the device is the object that I want to display, and I've also added a number of columns in the table to show the device name, the location, and the current status of the device. I've created the same configuration for the second device table. In the remaining dashlets, I'm setting the dashlet source to be a dashlet and then defining which dashlet should be used. For the port summary, you can see that the dashlet is the source and the source dashlet is coming from device one and device one is that list of devices. I'm doing the same thing for the top end flow summary for the second device. The dashlet source is a dashlet and the source dashlet is the device two table. This is the same configuration that's used for the remaining dashlets. So let's exit the dashboard editor and take a look to see how this works. I can select CA01 as my first device, and I can select HQ01 as my second device. Each device is going to populate its own set of performance metrics and populate each dashlet that's associated to that device. This is a good example on how you can extend the dynamic dashboard capabilities in ENA to meet your own specific requirements.